our brother we also have our brother uh you say hi brother my name is Bulelani uh all the way from Alwa North we have Mr. Denzel all the way from uh yo where is your boy struggle captain your one and only boy in the Alvin Smoke Cap what's up brother thanks for the video shout out to uh shout out to you my name on the next upload bro Denzel Nyagumbo all the way from Zimbabwe we have also our brother fast man always supporting you brother it's fast man we have our brother Paul Vanto struggling captain I was worried when you change your track tire each I feel sorry for you because our roads in Cape Town uh, Tam, uh, Tam, Tambo Village always support you. Um, uh, this one, you see, uh, this brother of mine, uh, Velabusi, is now being uh, done shout out twice because this guy is always in the comment section, guys. And an error like this, it can happen without me noticing just because the guy is very active. Thank you, brother Velabusi. Hello, watching you from Bella Bella. A shout out again. We have brother Joseph uh, saying, Hi, bro. Been long ish without seeing your videos. I miss them a lot. I miss them a lot, bro. Please do something. So, as for today, guys. Here is the list of the people that I want. I have done shout out to. Shout out to you all my people and to the remaining guys in the comment section. I know the questions themselves. What about us? Why these ones? We, you didn't stop it. Stop it. Don't get angry. This is all about from random selection. Right now, even in my brain, I have a lot of people that I can see that I haven't mentioned. The likes of our brother uh, Bradley Simpio, all the way from UK, our brother Tabuza, all the way from Devon, uh, my brother, uh, who is this one? Who is this one? Come on, come on, come on. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting. But there are a lot of people that we have right here who does truly support Sugar Captain. Just know the selection of shout out is based on uh, comment section uh, comments. That's all, nothing much. So right here, right now, we are from Glockham Border Post, all the way from South Africa. We are heading to Zimbabwe, Bulawayo, via Ramakwebana, Gram Tree Border Post. So, yeah, right in front of me, that is my colleague, and that is my brother. Brother from another mother. Yeah, yeah. So, as a boy, what am I having today for you guys? What am I having? Today, I'm gonna be spoiling you with some stories. Yes, some stories. <laughs> stories. How I started this journey for me or up until right now. How I started my journey. How I became a truck driver at the early age like this. How I became. I'll eliminate uh, the story from the way, uh, from the beginning where I did my license up until I got my license. That story, I need, I need more time to really gather myself, sit down, and even give you some evidence of what I'll be saying. Right now, this story, I do, I do not have evidence of it due to that I didn't have a good cell phone. I didn't also have um, knowledge about storing in the uh, Gmail cloud, iCloud, because by the time I was already using an iPhone, also I was using an Android, but I didn't know about all this uh, stuff that I could keep my photos, videos in such uh, storage spaces, you know, yeah. So yes, guys, uh, we're going to be doing storytelling as we are driving. Yeah, yeah, we are about to exit, we are about to leave the capital city of Botswana. That is Khabroni, guys. This is where I'm currently. Then, as soon as we exit, guys, how are you gonna start? We dive into it. Yes, so probably the story that I wanna be telling you guys is the story of how I became a truck driver. 
uh, how I got my first job as a truck driver, yes. Yeah, how I, how I got my first job and um, where was it, what type of, what kind of truck, what, what I was driving, what kind of commodity was I transporting, how did it happen, that's what I'm going to tell you guys, that will be the first story, right here we are in Khaburoni, by the time I finish that story, we will see, where will we be, by that time, will we be in Mahalape, Malape, Radizele, oh, what is this, what is this, Donoto, or oh, what is this, what is this, Francis Town, We'll see. Probably if the story ends before we reach Mahalape, then we need to put it, we need to add another story again. Eh? Yeah, because I'm gonna be dealing with uh, uh, a request like, Captain, my Captain, we enjoy, we love the way we see the video, the way we watch the video as you drive. But the problem is that the struggle Captain, we are making these videos shorter. So I'm gonna be working on that so that I don't make these videos short. Today I want to give you the long video. Yes, the long video. A long one, yes. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So yeah, if the second story also ends before we we reach uh one hour of this video, we're gonna end another story again so that we get a one hour video, yeah. So that you guys will be um, answered all your requests in the comment section. You know, as your boy struggle kept in. Yeah, I'm working on that. Yeah, yeah. We are on the E1, guys. Yes, heading to DBT. We finally exited Khaburoni, guys. Yay. So let's start off and kick off uh, our storytelling. So, yeah, guys, at the age of 21, I finally acquired license. I got my license, finally did my PDP, professional driving permit. I got it. So, now, when you go for the PDP, you know, they fell on the, for the license and PDP, they first give you the paper one, the temporary one. So, I got my PDP, the paper one, it was the temporary one. These are the days of during the lockdown, yes, uh, during the days of Corona, guys. So, this comes with the good, helpful hand of my mother. So, I took my father's car with my mother, and my mother looked for a friend, and your friend looked for your sister. Because the friend, the sister, he had a driving license. In this uh, situation, I, 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 I was in in hand of uh, I was in job search in hand of job as a truck driver because I had got the license so now the situation or the circumstance of what was happening where I was going I was not exact of the place it was only the location which was sent so now for me to arrive this easiest way to be there at the point of where I was going to be tested interviewed uh, uh, for the job for truck driving I I didn't know the place but it was just around Grand Fontaine so our at home our day. sorry guys so at home I was the only guy or I was the only person at that moment who had a driver's license and who he was able to drive that manual car so that's where we my mother had to look for a friend and a friend to look for a sister so that when I when we go we go with me and when they are returning she will be the one of the she will be the one in charge of the steering wheel yes of driving that uh, vehicle you understand guys so yeah we got a uh, friend the friend sister came she really uh, never uh, 
public transport it was the fact that me myself i believed in myself that i'm going to work i'm not going to test and fail i believed that i'm going to be tested and pass and get the job so i had some blankets and kitchen stuff you know as a truck driver you have the blankets your clothes and the gas tank so it's very difficult to move in uh, into the public transport with such la large luggage so we arrived at the place guys yeah this was the confidence in me and i believed in myself and i believed it to happen my mother believed in me and she believed it to happen then she had to go with me we went we arrived then yeah upon arrival the boss the owner of those trucks quickly reacted oh you're the one okay no problem uh i'm going to go to the mechanic to test you this is the truck the you're going to drive the yellow bus yeah the people around that command they used to call it yellow bus yes they used to call it yellow bus so uh it was a poor line assistance speed oh my gosh <laughs> This is a serious thing guys. I want you to learn whatever you can learn in this. I want you to understand, fully pay attention to my story. So when they told me, ah, you're going to drive this bus, I started shivering in my soul because I don't know how to drive this thing. But I know how to drive a manual. A manual vehicle I can drive. This was the only confidence that I had that as long it is a manual, as long I'm going to use clash and shift that gear lever, I'm going to make it. I started shivering. My mother and everyone else was like, so uh, this thing is not this. What are you going to drive? No, I, why don't you just leave it? But my mother said, ah, she can do it. Uh, don't worry. I know him. This guy, she can. You can actually, sorry guys, you can do it. You can do it. Then, yeah, I started uh, roaming around uh, and stable. Now I cannot be able to sit or stand still because I'm shivering. I'm trying to escape from that moment to show people that I'm already shivering. But anyway, it was it was uh, a moment for me to shine, a moment for me to give it all. So. Uh, the mechanic was sent to come and test me. The mechanic said, okay, come this side. This uh, truck can't start because it have, uh, the batteries are uh, uh, very low. Let's change the batteries. I went to help you, quickly help him out. But my, my mother didn't want to leave before she see how is everything. Me, I was already like chasing them. You can go home. But then my mother was worried. Ah, what, what if, what if things happen like this? We are, this is not safe. This is like that. You know, you know. That's the support. That's the one of the greatest support I got. So okay, they've uh, waited outside and uh, we managed to start the truck with the mechanic. We went with the mechanic. The mechanic told me, okay, this truck is like this, like this. Have you ever driven? I was like, yes, yes, yes. You know, when you, when you want the job, there is no time to, to to let them, to give them a light that you don't know. Or to give them the light or chance to say, you are not away. You are not the one. You are not the driver. So he asked me, have you ever driven? Yes. Uh, do you know how to split? Yes. Do you know how to use the range and the splitter? Yes. Everything. We went outside. I'm driving. And it's very funny to me ne? that I'm I'm saying yes I know but I don't know. It was very fun to me then I was like so what's next? But I was like inside me dear God be be with me in this situation. Gear number one clash down let's go two three four just because I was a driver at home of a manual vehicle this manual transmission it was very simple and it was just a simple for uh, uh, gear slots so there is, there is nothing which was difficult and also my brother uh, he had also assigned or instructed me what to do on the use of split and range uh, uh, usage so I was like okay one two three four when i arrived at four now for the power line uh it was now challenging me that i have to clap it as soon as i clap it i engage to number five we're using the same slots but you just have to when you you say one two three four then you clap it to the right hand side like 
so that it picks up the high range it was very very challenging that's when the mechanic caught me that no this guy is not very away but he loved the driving then I ended up being in a situation that the mechanic disapproved that I'm a driver due to that I can't split it into high range and pull and remember take note also guys right now uh, as I was being tested this truck doesn't have a trailer so this mechanic was worried what about when it does have a trailer so guys the mechanic had to return with me to back to the yard to the yard back to the yard uh, we had almost went about uh, only six plus or minus six kilometers yeah yeah so he returned back with me and he just told the the, the, the owner of the trucks now nah, this one can't drive i don't know what he didn't mention uh very well which doesn't uh, which didn't sit well with the boss so the boss doubted in him that how come you're saying that because this person said this and this person because the boss also returned back after we returned uh, from the road test with the mechanic so him himself the owner of the truck said to take me for the test so now when I went for the test again with the owner of the trucks now guys obviously I had to make some corrections because on our way returning with the mechanic the mechanic took the truck he started driving him himself I was looking I was watching how he was doing so I had just to do what the mechanic was doing and I was slightly caught that uh, this one doesn't do it very well but I was already also doing it uh, changing the gears up to number 12 yes up to number 12 guys I didn't finish this thing because the owner quickly said okay let's go back me I in my mind I was like oh no he have caught me that I don't know how to drive this thing so probably I'm not going to get the job while is the owner had also in his mind uh, a decision to take me at the same time his decision was not influenced by that I have driven the truck very well it was a influence of that he is in need of that truck to push or to go out to the lot by that day before 4 p.m. so he was forced and he was desperate for the driver and I think that was what influenced him that's how I got the job so yeah I got the job and um, right now as we are speaking guys we are passing the DBT yes we are now passing DBT we're heading to Mahalape our story continues guys keep watching and stay tuned you know <laughs> it's your boy it's your boy struggle captain your one and only small boy in the Ivy Coast pocket if you're new to this channel please do hit the subscribe button so that you will be the first to know your boy by just simply uh, clicking on the notification bell to know your boy have uploaded a video hey, hey, so hey, the story continues so finally that I got the job, I had to dismiss my mother and the rest of the people I share, I share on the border in, the, in our this now camp. They returned home, they left me and took my things, my blankets inside the truck. It was a scrapper truck, it was very dainty. You know those old trucks guys, you can't, you can't expect them to be in good condition. And inside it was very dusty due to the working environment or area it, it was exposed to your ways so as for me i was on the left to be told where to put this so as they were waiting to send me to lord of lord they were still under pressure fixing another truck because the one truck was um, fixing his own tracks and his own experience or knowledge so they sent me to Diesel as they were planning on my duties. Where should I head? Where is this? You understand? So, so I went to fill up the I diesel. Up the I only, I only used it. Then I'm one to four. I was moving very 
slowly, very gently, uh, you know, like a person who doesn't know. But I was very confident in my slowness that I must ensure people that I don't know. I build up easier, and then I return back. So what was happening in the duties there is that you walk the trail, you go off road, you come, you bring it back. By the moment you, uh, you come back, the guys at the, at the loading area, they will be already done or uh, loading another trailer. So you now we just walking of load of hook of hook just like that so yeah then around yeah, past then around six around past six around i was given a trailer to go and hold but then uh, at the loading point they said no don't worry you what you have to do is only to replace we will work for you like that, that was the good part because i never knew uh this process is not working and working because there is that one different part when you're just new to this day or that the yellow pipe where is it going the red pipe these are obvious things when you become in track guys but when you are when you are faced when you are exposed to the track these things are very difficult i don't want to lie sometimes like uh ah, when now uh, then like things like that but anyway I'm talking about my experience, about my way. So yeah, the whole the, the trailer for me, I was really excited, very very excited. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to post a status me in front of the truck to show people that yeah, I have made it. So yeah, guys, I hooked the trailer. This is your boy Strawa Captain. By that time, there was no captain, there was no struggle. It was just me, just me. Yes, just me that I made it. So yeah, guys, I managed to drive off from the loading point. I knew my weakness that I don't know how to change like these gears on the high range. So I managed to move gear number one, two, three, four, then I moved almost about 10 kilometers away. Just using those gears, guys, moved away from the loading point. Yeah, now I'm on the road alone. Even if I do anything which is miserable, terrible, whatever, I'll just digest it by myself. But I want to know more of the actual fact or the actual way of driving or shifting gears of this thing. Straight to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped, pull, uh, pull out of the way, went straight to YouTube. How to drive a power line assistant speed. Yeah, guys, this is your boy's our captain on YouTube, researching how to drive. By that time, somebody got a job already. <laughs> when they say get experience and come you look for a job, they are not lying. Guys, that was your push track kept it on YouTube searching how to drive this track. So, by this time I'm telling you guys, I had only two weeks with the temporary PDP in my hands. I don't even have a card for the PDP. I'm just having a temporary PDP. I already got fit my first job. And on my first job, I'm Googling, I'm on YouTube researching how to drive. People here, we must salute to the people who come on YouTube teaching us, giving us tutorials on these things. They are very important in life. They are very, especially for my life, for the beginning of this journey. It was God and this thing of researching. I I do I, I I do remember what exactly happened. I was like, dear God, be in this. But alongside my God, I'm going to research also on YouTube. I went on YouTube and started searching, guys. Started searching. Ah, oh, guys, I I got a lot of different people with different opinions. Hey, I, uh, that was lacquer, man. That was lacquer. I saw it. I started doing. At some point, I forget, I put the video playing. I also start as the as you say, girl number one, and also me, I'm practically doing it. <laughs> the, the struggle is real, guys. I don't wanna lie. So, as as the person giving me tutorial, the video that I'm playing on YouTube is he is saying, girl number one, I also engage, girl number two, I also engage. Practically, guys, the video is playing. I'm also doing it practically. 
yeah we moving uh from the loading point to the offloading point there was a difference of uh plus or minus 60 kilometers yes not to be precise but plus or minus 60 kilometers yeah i'm doing that guys and it's at night now <laughs> on YouTube how to switch on the headlights for the power line <laughs> Guys, and they say, come, come and come and, and stop at the 
the news guys we are at the offloading point with the first lot right now guys we are passing Mahalape this is um, a, a, a city where I feel like I'm making it to, the, to, to Zimbabwe now because that is one of the challenging distances in between Gabron, Gabron and um, Mahalape it's very long guys I don't want to lie that distance is very long so when I'm here I feel like I'm, I'm almost I'm almost so uh, yeah let's go fair and foremost we are done with our lot, second uh, lot um, we are done with the first lot I went inside and uh, everything was very interesting to be in an industrial place where you know when you are a kid you are always at home then from afar you see in the sky there is just a pipe like this and there is some burning flame you know now you go into the firm you see whatever the whole process what is happening and there is that uh, local trains uh, or locomotive doing shanting moving now you get to hear those sounds like oh, very close to it was interesting and I offloaded. Now my big tip, I just not working like big tipping. Uh, we were offloading via just standing at a certain uh, point where you reverse into, and there will be a. Uh, I'm not sure of that name, but it will be a magnet being controlled by a person on top. So when you reach to the point where you want you to stand, you you you, you press a, a bell. Beep, then you stop, then you start putting the magnet in your trailer, taking every my metal, uh, throwing it outside until you are done offloading. Then I went back. Then same night I went back straight to the loading point. Yeah, I had to pass through the yard so that they can just fix fix some small things of which I didn't know about. They have to be fixed. Fixed. So yeah, after fixing, I went into my to the second trailer. My second trailer it was a box trailer. We went uh, I offloaded 30 trip, we yeah, it comes 30 trip 30 trip No man 30 trip no man 30 trip I went and I filled in diesel at the yard uh, and they, I went and filled diesel at the yard they fixed the track every trip the track had to be fixed <laughs> that was my life so after filling diesel I took the trailer I'm going Just the diesel is fake. 
finished. The tank is totally with nothing. Not even a drop. The diesel is finished. Hey, boy. How do I report this? Okay, cool. Ah, me, I never stole diesel. And, uh, it's finished, it's finished. Let me tell him straight in his face. Hi, boss. Come in here. I'm okay. The truck is fucked up. What's wrong, Dino? I'll let the truck. Now sit down with us. It was not like the way we fought. It was meant to 
Wallis were waiting to enter me. I really went home and I took the car and I brought it at the yard. But I didn't put it at the yard where the trucks belongs to. I put it at the yard where we are loading. So the boy, my own, the one of these trucks I was driving, never knew that I think I have the car already with me on that side. So me, I was already thinking about quitting. And this is lot number four, guys. So we went and I was in call with the guy. So I never gave him a chance to drive. So we started fighting again. Another day becomes another challenge that this guy doesn't also want to give me to drive. So we had another meeting that you know, okay, since we are the owner of the, of the truck, since we are the driver of the truck, I mean, you will drive either going, then this one will drive coming back, or this one drive go, going, then you drive come back. Okay, cool. That was it, side. It was happening that way, but I was never happy with it until they took that guy off, off from the track. We were cool now, back to working. Smoothly, I'm alone. I'm doing my own things alone. You know, you know the feeling of being alone on the track. Because now, when I was driving that track with that guy, nobody believed that I'm a driver. Also, everybody was saying. Um, being taught how to drive because I was very very small so you know when you are young and you are just starting to drive you want to prove everyone that you can do it so uh, now it was hitting me that there was also some facts that contributed to that I don't want this guy in the truck with me you understand finally followed completed in one week guys yeah yeah so we are on to the next week so clap uh, hands for your boy we're well, one and only small boy for making it up to five days at work. Yes, I completed five days at work. Yes, in that five days, I had already going through this struggle. <laughs>
Natasha guys um, I engaged all my gears so there was another more like a downhill uh, those people staying around um, Dunfontaine they know what I'm talking about when you drive uh, just uh, from the stop side uh, next to uh, is it engine or Sasso garage it's engine they know the, what I'm talking about those around Dunfontaine are heading to western area direction there is a more like a downhill so the track will be running fast so the track just uh, started producing another dark black smoke guys when I was going so I had to engage lower gear so when I started engaging lower gear so that I can stop the track to at least calm it down by the gears by doing change down it started producing this darker smoke so I engaged number six produces dark dark smoke that all the people following me they could not see guys that smoke was very strong and dark so guys it, it, it ended up taking itself from that gear then it went neutral then I remained calm and shivering holding the steering looking at my truck which I used to drive skis and rolling at 100 110 115 I was just shivering guys holding onto the steering lucky enough there was no much traffic on that day so I managed to overtook then back to my lane overtake again I uh, back to my lane until I managed to stop then I communicated with the boss the owner of the truck scam to access what the, might be the problem because when I stopped I could not drive it anymore I could not engage gears I tried to call my brother telling him no this truck is not engaging he said no just do like this like this or go ahead like this so when the boss arrived he said you've mm, fucked up my clash so I fucked up the clash but him he was the best mechanic for him so for his trucks at the same time he was the best driver guys I don't know how I don't know how did he manage to drive the thing without the clash he, he just engaged one as soon as he started moving guys he never stopped at the stop sign he never stopped at the rubber going with the truck without clash guys just using the revs yeah yeah that was your boy on the lot number six it never arrived the lot that I ate that day it was a complete totally different lot because I used to carry 25 tons 30 tons loads but mostly it was uh, 25 tons loads so on this day it was a 38 ton load it was very heavy so I think it was a day by day thing that it, the way clash was getting eaten day by day or I it was completely eaten on the day I don't know guys but you know who is to be blamed me who was wrong me because who was driving truck me so who who, who fucked up the clash me so you bought a new clash for the truck he gave me the truck again we are on the second week guys Philippines for struggle captain at this moment that he reached the second week but his lord never arrived I went with another lord the, the, that trailer that I never arrived with they gave it another guy and they gave me another trailer I went with the trailer I came back guys on that same uh, place going down again guys I'm going I'm going the track starts eating eight nine hundred it went off the drag is off so what is happening since it had happened to me a day before or earlier i was not shocked i just walked onto my track until i managed to stop it to get out of the way then that time he didn't come the owner didn't come he sent uh, his mechanics, mechanics came, they assess the track, they just say the track can no longer go anymore, it cannot start anymore. I don't know what I, what I, what I had done, but they had to send the towing company around past 8, the incident that happened in the morning, so past 8 in the evening they sent towing company, when the towing company came, they said uh, we are sent by this, this, this person to tow the track and this, this like that. Me, I took my way 
straight back to the yard where we used to load I took the car then I came back to the truck I took everything of me of the truck guys that was my second week guys of head work so clap bands for me but unfortunately me taking all my things that was me giving up that I can't do this and this is not my thing I can't I can't it was very stressful that I'm returning home as a failure okay guys on the issue of uh, your boy leaving uh, the workplace guys that is that is it and uh, your boy is uh, struggling with the kilometers is struggling with the distance guys yeah uh, let's guys some um, i uh, do accept that we all we all get existed there is not any person who is better or made up of matter your boy struggle captain you have to reach out right now you have to real feel yes your boy struggle captain you have to reach out where you see right now where i'm hitting yeah, I just want to I just want to buy something to eat that is what is happening I just want to buy something to eat so yeah this is uh, called Martin's Drift 10 uh, when you are coming from uh, from Francis Town it's just before Palabe when you are coming from Habroni it's uh, after Palabe Yes, Martin's Drift 10. That's where I'm going to buy some something to make my intestines happy. You must be vigilant with your life, ne? When they say make yourself happy, be, or be proud of yourself, they don't refer to these smaller things that you, you think about. They refer to making the intestines happy, recharging, taking care of the body, taking care of the skin, glow, shine, you know. Yeah, so right here, uh, these are some chains, by the way, I don't know, whatever, the Lombashi, the Congo, the Zambian guys. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We are here. Uh, let's check off. Uh, let's go ahead by unfastening this seat belt, lift up our steering, put our truck in the neutral, and check for some pulls. How uh, much pull? Yeah, 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 yeah. I only need 50 pull up because one place it costs 30 pull up or 35. I'm not sure long since I stopped here but anyway I used to be here always but I know it's the price range is 35 this 30 to 35 cool. let's go let's switch off this thing let's start by opening window so that it won't be very hot let's open the windows let's go let's go guys let's go too quiet you wow look at this yeah, paper bus very good looking good so yeah so yeah guys it's part of life life happens the way it is and we all got unique patterns of life so that's how i went through that is the only piece of the part of my journey on how I became a truck driver guys if you want more to that comment down below in the comment section comment section you know as truck drivers we are always doubted when it comes to where do we bath where do we do this and this so um, right here guys I'm going to be filling up uh, my diesel and my story finally I have reached it Francis town by only telling uh, the story of how I went through my first year job so yes guys right now i am just in francis town guys i'm going to be filling up diesel after filling up diesel i'm also going to be going to bath i'm going to take bath here there are some showers here or there is a shower and bathroom bathroom the toilet so yeah this is how 
truck of Captain goes through his day. So I started driving from Haburadi in the morning. Now it's in the late afternoon. We are already in France town. It's your boy Struggle Captain, your one and only small boy in the Iveco small cab. Yeah guys. So right now what we need to do is to take our shoes to there. I don't know, should I call it an office or should I say let's take ourselves into the shop so that we go and confirm our order, our diesel order, so that we can review this iVeco Trekker 440. Let's put on neutral. After placing it in neutral, let's switch it off. After switching off, well, let's check um, our cell phone. Okay, my people, we are done. <laughs> then, yeah, you know. We are done refilling there, so since uh, uh, a single pump, I don't have to leave my truck there so that others, if they come, they will also use the pump without getting delayed. Let's go and take a shower. Let's leave our boy here. Let's go and take a shower right there. So, Captain, going to take a shower. I love you all guys thank you so much for watching if you are interested in knowing more of how i became a truck driver at this early age and how i did it and how i went through the journey let me know in the comment section by just commenting down below party to struggle keep turn yeah yeah that's all so let, let's get in let's get in i hope there is no one okay there is no one there is no one, 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 yeah, I'm going to bat there, take a shit there. It's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy struggle captain, <laughs> yeah, yeah guys. Don't forget to do the best if it's your first time and if you're new to this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button bye see you everybody